the anatomy and physiology of TBI, well, the brain is a very complex organ. Um, I call it a very uh, complicated network uh, made up of brain cells uh, connected by axons, which basically is like thin wire uh, that brain cell uses to communicate with each other. Uh, so concussion, I use this metaphor a lot to my, uh, with, my, uh, with my patients. Uh, brain is like a city with tall buildings and roads and bridges uh, that connects uh, buildings, um, that buildings um, send cars to communicate with each other. And um, concussion is like an earthquake. Uh, and um, so earthquake is not strong enough to knock the buildings down, but enough to cause damage to the roads and bridges. And um, so it's the anatomy of the brain after concussion is, is just like that. Um, when you look at through CASCA and MRI, the brain actually looks normal because they, um, the scan actually focuses on the uh, brain cells, the buildings but it doesn't have good ability to assess the axons, which are the bridges and roads uh, of the city. Um, so that's why a lot of times people with concussion, they get CAT scan and, uh, and the emergency room, they actually read normal. Uh, they actually have this sort of wrong perception that everything's okay. Uh, they, they are even told that you're okay because your CAT scan is normal. Then they go home and they have a bunch of problems and symptoms that last for a few days, weeks, and months. So, that's the sort of the anatomy and physiology of the concussion or TBI.